This is Twin City Talk with today's helpful tips, trends, and topics. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Today we're here to talk about seasonal allergies and asthma, and we have Dr. Jancy joining us. Thanks for being here. Thank you. There are some new things I wanted to talk about in both allergies and asthma. One is that there are medicines now a lot cheaper than what used to be available for both diseases. Many of you are going to be aware of the over-the-counter, but there's also some generic medications for allergies. And then for asthma, even for a maintenance inhaler, you can now get a product that's generic and much cheaper than what used to be available. And any time we can save a little bit of money on medicine, that is a good thing. So Absolutely. I'm glad that you brought that up. We were talking earlier how important it is to really get on your seasonal allergies and asthma, especially in children when they're younger. Talk right. to us about that. Right. There's evidence that in children, allergies increase your risk for developing asthma. And if you intervene, for example, with allergy shots, you can reduce that risk. In addition, there's a risk, if you have asthma, uh, much higher risk of developing COPD. For example, I saw a statistic that in young children with severe asthma, 32 times higher risk for developing COPD as an adult. And one more recent study in Ontario, they were looking at women with asthma, and during the period of this study, 14 years, 40% of them progressed mm -hmm. to COPD, which means it's not reversible. Those are really strong facts, and I'm glad that you brought those to us to think about. If you'd like some more information on this topic, go to kbtx.com slash Twin City Talk.